Today I want to talk about different menu LEDs in, in macOS. But what is a menu LED? The small icons in the menu bar that can be compared to tray icons in Windows. They are called menu LEDs. They are so cool and, and so handy if you get familiar with them. They are so cool in that they are both an indicator and a menu that provides direct access to certain settings. For example, if you click on this menu LED, you can see the list of available Wi-Fi connections to connect to. If you click on this one, you can see the output device. So they are so cool. Now I, I want to show you the most useful menu LEDs and how to appear them on the menu bar. The first menu LED is Wi-Fi, which lets you turn your Wi-Fi on or off, join a network, create your own private network, and go to network preferences. So you can just turn your Wi-Fi here on or off. Now it's on, so you can say off, and then turn it back on and from here you can go to open network preferences that goes to the settings and now here with this option you can show wi-fi status in, in menu bar you can make that menu let appear or disappear on the menu bar see toggle the visibility of wi-fi Okay, ready to tell you a secret? If you option click this menu item, this menu left, I mean, you hold down your option key on the keyboard and click on that, you can see a secret menu appear. In that one, you can have your MAC address like this, enable Wi-Fi login, create diagnostic report, open wireless diagnostics, and all those geeky stuff there that right now I don't want to talk about them maybe in, in the near future in, and in my next videos I'm going to talk about them but now you can see that you can have other options when you option click the menu items the menu lets and that is another cool feature of menu lets in Mac OS the second menu let that I want to talk about is the battery so if I click on that I can see that my power source right now is battery. That means that I'm not connected to the electricity outlet. And then here I can see a list of applications that are draining my power, the most power hungry open programs here. So I can, for example, decide to, to close this Google Chrome stuff that is draining my battery and then here I can see show percentage if I click on that the percentage can can appear or disappear and here I can see open energy saver preferences and here you can make that menu let appear or disappear on the menu bar see okay and you can also have power adapter and, and and some settings related to battery that I'm going to talk about that in later videos but not right now because this video is just dedicated to menu lets. Let's option click this menu let and see what secret menu it has. Okay, voila. Condition normal. It shows that my battery is in normal condition. There are other options or values here like service battery which means you have to service your battery in app store replace soon which means that you have to replace your battery soon and another option is replace now which means that you have to replace your battery the one that happens to my last macbook and i had to replace that so that is a very good uh stuff to watch uh, so whenever you see anything other than normal condition so you have to consider uh, taking your 
laptop, your MacBook, I mean, to the App Store to be serviced. Laptop batteries are not intended to last forever, so they begin to hold less of a charge as they approach 500 or, or 1000 recharges. Let's see what happens if I click on the Bluetooth menu light. So I click on that one. You, you can see the list of devices already paired. Okay, uh, so here you can pair your Mac with a cell phone or headphone or any other Bluetooth devices and send or receive files. For example, here I have two devices. First of all, the first one is my headphone and the second one is my AirPod, which is under my name. Uh, so here I can open Bluetooth preferences. I can show Bluetooth in the menu bar, toggle, appear, disappear. If I option click this menu let, I can see a bunch of nerdy stuff. Software version, your Mac name, which is handy if you're trying to make it show up on another Bluetooth device, and it's Bluetooth Mac address, like this. You can also have the option of send file to a device or browse files on device. Let's go to the clock menu let this item. It shows the current time and date. So if I click on that, I can see today's date as August 13th, 2020. And I can also change the clock to analog like this or back to digital. I can also see open date and time preferences. And here I can have the option of show date and time in menu bar. I wanna have it there. That's the really cool stuff. I don't need my watch anymore thanks to my cell phone and this feature on my MacBook. The next item or menu led is the volume. It adjusts your speaker's volume and it can be, I mean, for the output device, I can either use internal speakers or I can cast the speaker volume to my Samsung 7 series TV. And here for in the sound preferences, I have the option of show volume in menu bar or make it disappear. If you're wondering what this flag is, it's actually another menu let for the keyboard. So here you can see a list of active keyboards you are using and you can switch between them. For example, I'm using both English and Persian keyboard as my mother tongue. So that is so handy for me to be able to switch between them. It's not so comfortable to, to switch between them from this menu let and it's better to use a keyboard shortcut for that. Uh, I'm using command and space for that. You can assign anything to that. Uh, and in order to, to show it, I mean to appear it or disappear it on the uh, menu bar, you can go to open keyboard preferences. If you are confused about what this flag is, you can show input source name. And here you, you can see Canadian French or Persian standard. So I'm back to Canadian English. 